Hello, Brett Fiesta here. Welcome back to Let's Play Paper Mario. Hey, yo, Twink. You know that umbrella that I won when I was a super good contestant on that quiz show because I'm super smart and amazing? There you go, that's that clever mind, princess. Yes, let's do that. Ah, okay, so there's a B button on the umbrella. Um, so the, uh, I forgot what it was called, Sneaky Parasol or something, um, allows us to be able to transform into other characters, so we'll be using that to be sneaky, and that is our goal. See how far we can get this time. I believe this is the last Princess Peach section, actually. The last time we get to control her in this game, so... Let's do good. Okay, careful. Careful. These guys are slacking. Oh, we got him. We are now a uh, Koopa Troll, I believe is what they're called. So let's see what this gets us. We should probably stop at that um, treasure chest also. If we need to. Oh, neat. I don't know where exactly we're supposed to be going. Probably not here. Um. Oh, by the way, in the last episode, we beat uh, the chapter 6 in the flower fields. And in this episode, we're going to do the next part of the story. Okay. So up here, this is where we started the game. This is where we met Princess Peach at. Right up these stairs. Through Hello. Hi. Okay. So we have to find the slacker. It's a clubba. Neat. Okay, uh, so one thing that helps is that we're unlocking all these doors in case, you know, some other character has to come through the castle at some point. I don't know who that could be. He might be red. Or I guess wearing red clothes, he's not red himself. Um, let's see. What, what was in all these doors? This is the library. The only thing in here was, uh... Hello. Okay. Going back to our post. Here it is. Here's our post. Uh, it... Yeah, we can't get up to the life shroom. That's something that... Neat! Okay. Eh, just a couple of times. This is true. It's like, we don't really have a whole lot of places to go. You can't, like, ride a shooting star, because the only one we have is Twink. And, uh, that really wouldn't work out. Could do, like, a Kirby air ride sort of thing. But we would need a proper-sized warp star. Nothing in here. Just getting one last tour of the castle, I guess. Fond memories. Ah. I remember when we used to live here. When it was on the ground. Okay. We put in Shooting Star. We put in Last Stand. And we put in Jam and Jelly. No punctuation necessary. So we're being sneaky. Sort of. I believe if you press the B button, it undoes the transformation, so don't do that. In here... This is where the toad was. Okay. 
And is, I guess. He's probably still hiding there. Okay, kitchen. Anybody slacking off in here? Nope. We're all responsible, non-slackers, so that's good. Stay on guard. Good work. Keep it up. This is the last room, right? Oh, they took down the set. <laughs> they canceled the show, I guess. What a shame. That was my favorite quiz show. So we have to find the slacker. Are you the slacker? Well, let's see. It seems to be locked. We can't prove it though. The torches are a nice addition though. Yes, yes, I hear you. Okay. Perfect. We are now the clubba. What's up? We're in the club. The Bowser Club, the Koopa Club. That's us. We got a shell, so therefore we are a Koopa. Uh, on patrol. Yep. That is us. Hello. I am the relief. Blah, blah, blah. Great. trying to record a bit before it gets like way too hot because it's supposed to be like 100 today and nobody needs that no I don't know I don't know how to read I don't even know what you're saying because I can't read it okay thin ice that is that a hint no I doubt it all right I remember this. This is where, um... We should have fixed that. I think. Lazy Koopas. I get broke my window, and then... Broke my window by throwing my boyfriend out of it. And then, you didn't even bother to fix it. Like, come on, Bowser. It's not a way to impress a princess. Hello. Oh yeah, everything's ready. Yeah, totally all right. Absolutely affirmative. You got it. Hi. Well, thank you. Um, yeah, well, I mean... What if you didn't do that? Well, we are a regular sized Princess Peach. Okay. I mean, didn't have to try hard to catch her. But... Okay, so all we really learned was that they're preparing for the worst. Uh, okay. I don't really get the point of that Princess Peach section. It was kind of boring. Hello, Clevar. Ah, <sighs> peace, inner peace. <sighs> okay. Just one more. Okay. I don't remember what your star power is. So tell me. <laughs> We've six star energy. Time out. Okay. To stop all enemies. Basically, this is petrify or stop or whatever. Yes. Bowser is charging up his power, even though we're taking it away by getting the star spirits. Yes. Uh, we will do our best. Okay. 
You're so responsible, Clevar. Goodbye. Oh, thank you, young tree. Super beautiful. No more clouds over the skies, no more farts hovering slightly above your head. Even though Daisy was the only one who really had a nose. Of course. Okay, so now we are in between chapters again. Um, hi. I didn't think we'd ever see you again. <laughs> Tell me about it. Um, so we have a few things to do uh, in between chapters. First one I want to do is... I want to go to that well. Um, but before we do that, we need... Um, I think it's this direction. I also want to see if I can find another um, Amazy Daisy. Actually, like, tattle them. Or maybe take them out. Because I think we can do that now. We are wise beyond our years. You are not an amazing daisy. Perfect. So I think the thing I was thinking of, um, where a flower wants a different colored berry than you would expect, is the well here. Um, oh, excuse me. Forgot that there are enemies in this game. Um, although I guess this isn't really... Okay, you're sad. I'm sorry. Try this. Blueberry! An actual thing. And we get the flower saver badge. So this is pretty good. Uh, save this one FP. Um, but we don't really have space for it. Um, right? How much does it cost, I guess? Flower saver costs six. So yeah, no. No chance. We have two of them. So I guess that's another option. We could do, you know, spend 12 on power plus or spend 12 on flower saver be an efficient yeah I think flower saver and like happy flower would probably be a pretty good combo but you know it's a strategy that's uh, that you like best excuse me pardon me don't mind me What else do we have to do even? Probably Koopa Koot. Um, there's one. Okay. So I wonder if we tattle it or if we just try to blow it up. Let's tattle it. So let's... Like, we know how to control this game. And then do we have something that's going to do, like, massive amounts of damage? Um, oh, we can do the power bounce. Let's give that a try. You're going to need to get out of the way. Okay. Right, we got this. We got this. We're good. We're going to get good. We're going to be good. Oh, we should have done the butt stomp. Okay. So first off, we tattle. This is an amazing daisy. They're so rare. Even though it's only like a 25% rarity. Attack power of 20. That's something like... They can mess you up real bad. Okay. Power bounce, power bounce. Okay. Ah, I screwed up. The action command just gets like harder and harder on that. I want to beat one though. 
so maybe we grind a bit until we can actually do that. Okay. Well, let's get Bombat out because we need her. She can do the most damage. Right? Yeah, because Bo... This thing has defense, so Bo cannot do the most damage. We're going to try doing the tornado. Stomp on it. Okay, that works. Fine. We'll still be able to do sufficient damage, I believe. So let's start with the easy one. All we gotta do is be able to do 10 damage. That's it. So, breathe in. Four hits. That's all we need. Oh, we got it. We got it. We defeated the Amazing Daisy! 41 star points. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Worth it. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure that's everything now in Flower Fields. Um, and the only other thing I can think of is if they, there was something like in the Cloudy Climb. Which I guess we'll just check real quick. And if there's not anything, then you'll just see me descending the, uh, the vine here. Ah, what a beautiful excursion to the skies. That was a waste of our time. Hey, look, I got your, uh, your bay. <laughs> it's not like a Lester. You never listen to me. Aw, daw. They're in love. Okay. Goodbye, flower fields. We probably won't ever be back. Okay. What you got? FP plus, that's good. Group focus, that's another good one. And Mega Quake, also good. But we're gonna... Let's do Rip Cheeto. How about that? Let's buy a bunch of garbage from a crazy person. Here's where he lives. Hi. I would like one trash, please. Okay. Well, he will sleep better. 64 coins better, actually. Oh, wow. That's not garbage. Because we just had to use one of those for um, the when we got attacked by a cloud. That's another good thing. Okay, so I thought this guy had mostly trash, but it's been all good stuff so far. That's a good thing too. Okay, all good. Next, next. You got me all, like, hyped up. You get, oh, we have too much stuff. What sort of stuff do we have? Shooting star, shooting star. Three shooting stars. This vault shroom. I don't like the vault shroom. I think I'm gonna... Sell it. Could talk to this guy as well, but nah. What are you selling this for? Ten. Okay, so the vault shroom's gonna sell for nothing. Four fifty is a good price, I think. Or good, not price. Amount of money to have. Amount of liquid cash. Hello, good sir. 
Excuse me. I... Hello. Oh, this is worlds better? What was the last thing? It was a star piece, right? What could be worlds better than a star piece? Eh. Um... We can't even, like, throw it away. Honestly, this is not... We can just buy one of these later. Delicious. Hello. <laughs> yes, we cannot resist the temptation. Hmm. <laughs> this... That was super worth 64 coins, I think. <laughs> oh boy. I wonder what could be better than this. You're literally going to sell me like a nothing. Another... Okay. What's the last thing you have? Why two dried shrooms? Like... There was wool over my eyes, because you pulled it there. Okay. I feel like we've bought enough things now, though. Is he just gonna only sell... ...dried shrooms? I thought he only had ten things for sale, and then he was done. Okay, um... We got the three star pieces, so that's all that matters. If there, if he has like another badge, then I'll figure that out later. Um, next, what ah uh, letters do we have? Just the one to Frost T. Okay, yeah, there were no letters in Flower Fields, so. kind of feels a little bit like Flower Fields was an afterthought. It's not really attached to the rest of the game at all. K-Wiz. Okay. Oh, yeah. Question. Uh, four? Okay. Okay. <laughs> I mean, a mushroom seems like a four-coin sort of deal. Okay, so we've answered 14 of his questions, so we only have 50 left. Hello. Absolutely. Okay. So, an old boo friend... Oh, hey, hey now. Apparently, he was friends with Goompa and Bootler, so that's pretty cool. Shame of his name, though, Bootler. Uh, kind of forced him into a specific occupation. Okay. Uh, we might try out that, like, um, timeout move, I guess, on some of these hyper clefts or whatever. Which means we should probably get the good partners out, like Bombat. That 
Whatever. Mm -hmm. Did we try chill out also? We'll try that in the next one. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Oh. For five turns? Wow. That's a good deal. Um. I wonder if it's because we only had one enemy to fight, and I wonder if it even works on bosses. Oh, boy. So glad to have that littering my inventory. Now let's try the, um, chill out. Just to see what it looks like, you know. These moves that I wouldn't normally use. Nice. I would really like to know the success rate, because... Just knowing the numbers, kind of behind the scenes, makes me feel better. A hyper move that's weakened can't, you know, last that long. Or it can't be that strong, rather. But we'll never know. Okay. So let's try to find this boo. Are you it? Yeah. Um. Yeah, it would be such a shame. Uh oh. <laughs> you lost the package? Okay, so we just have to wander around a bit. I'm glad we found the, um,. The thing, the boo. It was just the second boo that we had to talk to, so. Let's kill some time. That. fine, whatever. Not even a big deal. Because I'm pretty sure at this point in the game. Yeah, we can take out the hyperpuffs. Your silly three defense does not bother me. Is that enough time to find a package? I mean, your houses aren't that big. So. I mean, not to say that that's a bad thing. Like, if, it's a, if you live in a small house and it's, like, comfortable. Then. Neat. I mean, personally, I'd rather live in, like, a kind of small house. Ah. Uh, with just, like, a decent-sized lawn, I think. That's, um... Well, we did one of those quizzes where, like... You had to use your imagination, and they, like, tried to guide you through a scenario. Like, you're walking through a forest, and, um... Oh, I should pull that up, actually. That would be a fun thing to do with the with you guys in the audience, right? Um... A, a psychology quiz? <laughs> totally. But, like, one of the steps was, like, you come across a house. Um, how big is the house? And does it have a fence? Um, and my imagination went to, no, it's just a tiny house. Basically, the ideal house for me is the one from, uh, my neighbor Totoro. That's the house I want to live in. I got your thing. Live in Lana Pro... <laughs> I don't... You've been dying? I'm sorry. Okay. You 
Not even gonna show us what's inside. Next. Okay. A coconut. Yeah, they're, um, super delicious. Like, I've never had anything more delicious. And I can't even lie about that. Coconut's gross. Like, to each their own and whatever, but... Coconut is not for me. I don't like, like any nuts. I like peanut butter. But I can't strictly say I like peanuts. Um, will this one work? Perfect. I was like, how do you eat a coconut? It's like milk in the inside, right? So... Or not, like, strictly milk. Um, but... And is it even technically a nut? Or is it just a fruit? Biology. <laughs> Biology with Bread Fiesta. Subtitle, I'm very confused. I bet I'm confusing Koopa Coot with like, coming in with different partners each time. It's just like, your Koopa friend there looks a bit... Ill. Eh. <laughs> uh. Okay. Next. One of those red jars. What? You can get one if you buy things in a certain order at the shop in Dry Dry Outpost. Dusty, dry, dusty. Hmm. Like, how are you supposed to figure this out, then? This isn't... okay. Um... Maybe you know? Wow! Apparently this person did- oh, this person's just super shy? Aww. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um... Hi! Have we even been in here before? Ma ma choo choo! Choo choo choo! We yo! I like making songs up. Okay. That's probably... He's probably involved in the whole, um... Uh... The thing. <laughs> you know, with this guy. But no, the composers in Club 64. Get it? Because... Who tells, uh, Shooting Star Summit. I was thinking of Merle, who's just right here on this screen, actually. I mean, the more we see Chuck Quizmo just kind of sitting around, um, the less we will have to... The shorter the ultimate episode where we just grind for Chuck Quizmo quizzes will be. I'm thinking that maybe Mustafa, Mustafa might know about this. Oh. Yes, I do need something of you. Um, I want to know about this uh, red jar. Hi. Okay. Well, so it's dried hammer, or dusty hammer, dried pasta, 
a dusty hammer again. Um, and then something else. So let's just put away all of our stuff here so that we can... Oh, we don't even have that much cash! <laughs> so, I don't even know if we can do this right now. What we should be doing is selling... Maybe I'll sell the shooting star? Or the stone cap, I, I'm not gonna use it. Okay. Yeah, that's gonna give us like... a bunch of coins. Okay, so... Dusty Hammer. Dried Pasta. Dusty Hammer. Dried Pasta? Dusty Hammer. Dried Shroom? Okay, that works. So dried shroom is the last ingredient. And now we have a bunch of trash to sell. Nope. That... Uh, all of this. This will net us a good eight coins. I guess maybe we should hang on to one of the pastas. We can make like a something out of it. We want to claim the rest of our stuff. Especially those life shrooms, because you don't know... Oh, we have an ultra shroom in here. Oh! We can make an ultra jelly! Let's do that. Where's the jelly at? There's the jelly at. And we also want the life shroom. And the life shroom. And the life shroom. We'll take this just because it's sort of decent, I guess. Okay. This should be the. He should give me three star pieces for this, right? I mean, we had to solve a puzzle. That was significant. It was hard on her wallet. I had to sell a hat. Swooping sky, guys! <laughs> Hooray! Nice weather. Is it nice weather, though? Not really. Um. Now what? Um. I guess I'll figure out now what in the next episode. Um. So, um, we'll figure it out. Oh, I know what I want to do next. Um, we'll go in that direction, and then you'll find out in the next episode. So, I have been Bread Fiesta. Thank you very much for watching. Oh, well, hold on. Yep. She's our favorite partner, other than Bo and Gumpario. Hey, okay. Um, comment, question. Who's your favorite partner in Paper Mario? That's an audience participation sort of thing. Cool. Um, so I have been Bread Fiesta. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope your day is going exactly the way that you want it to.